Hey, what's up everybody? Richard here with Camping It Up, and I am working on a new project. We're in our brand new camper. It is a Grand Design 2910BH, and if you saw on our last camper, which was a 2400BH, we put dog kennels underneath um, our bed. And so, fantastic, it worked out great, but what we realized is that when we wake up in the morning, we like to drink coffee, we end up waking up the dogs, end up waking up the kids, all that other stuff. So we needed to come up with a better place to put the dog kennel. So what we found is on, here let me move that, on the 2910, there's a bedroom in the back and there's bunks. And so this little curved part right here, um, that's actually storage uh, from outside. So there's a panel on the outside, you can open it up and you can access it. It's completely huge. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a hole in this. It's a little scary because I don't really know what I'm working with. I don't know if there's wood frames, metal frames, who knows, but hey, what's more exciting than cutting into a $50,000 camper and putting in a permanent hole? So let's get after it. All right, so I kind of already put tape right here. And what I did is I did use a stud finder, but because this is curved, it was kind of wonky. So um, what I did is I just started kind of pushing on this, right? And if you push, you can kind of feel like there's a, a frame or some type of support in here. I have no idea, but I, I believe that there's a, a piece of wood or metal stud right here. I think there's one here. There's definitely one on the bottom. Um, not sure what's going on in the middle. So I'm going to make a very small cut more on the inside, stick my finger in there and see if I can fill a beam, identify where this one is too, and start to cut out a hole and uh, try not to screw it up too bad and then uh, put the doggy door right here. So let's do it. So real quick, this is uh, the doggy door that I have. Um, I'll post a picture right here of um, the actual dog crate um that i decided to use i bought it at walmart i think it was like 50 bucks um really what i did is i cut off all the metal pieces removed this part from the actual kennel this is a little bit curved and so what i did is i just grabbed this put my knee on it put a little bend to it so it's a little bit curved so it kind of matches here and once i put some uh, bolts it's probably gonna take that shape a little bit better so I've got to figure out where this bottom one is. That's what I decided the bottom post behind the wall. So I'm going to start there and try to identify exactly how we're going to do this thing. So what I'm using is a Dremel. And so uh, the reason for this is on my last one, I used a jigsaw and it kind of tore this stuff up. So I'm going to go in very lightly and just uh, try to make very clean cuts. Um, we are actually camping. I'm at the campsite right now. Um, we are officially coming until the kids get out of school, so I was gonna try to get this done so tonight the dogs can actually sleep uh, in here tonight. All right, so I did all the measurements. Uh, I made this cut, I made this cut. I did cut this corner out just to make sure there wasn't anything in the way. Um, I also did a hole right here because I expected that there was gonna be uh, a stud right here. Um, so I cut a hole a little bit before reach and felt it. Um, based on my measurements on the actual dog door, um, I'm gonna actually have to move this one in about an eighth to a quarter of an inch this line and cut it so it's nice and flush uh, with the actual stud. It's gonna work out great. 
Um, the thing I did notice though is because this this piece is curved and there is beams in here. Um, it is uh, looks like it was stapled to this post. This one's not, so there's a little bit of give. And the way that I'm gonna mount the actual dog door, I'm gonna have to screw into that post. So I'm gonna have to put a little bit of pressure on this. It looks like it should be fine. Um, there's no beams up here, so I'm gonna have to put some type of support eventually up here. Um, but yeah, let's get the rest of this thing cut out and then I'll start working on uh, the inside panel. All right, so I got this outside piece cut and uh, it looks like this thing was just designed for a freaking doggy door. I mean, there's no um, stud right here, so I'm gonna have to put some type of reinforcement, um, but it worked out perfect. I mean, this was the exact dimension that I needed. Um, an inch off, there's a little bit of a lip here. You know, like I said, this is gonna be just temporary for tonight so the dogs have a place to sleep. Um, eventually I'll probably put trim, I'll trim this up, make it look a little bit prettier. But for the time being, that's uh, pretty awesome. Um, so the, the width between here and here is 11 and 5 eighths inches. I mean, obviously, um, if you have the same camper, it's probably gonna be close. It probably won't be exact, but it's pretty dang close. Um, the distance from the ground to here is 15 inches uh, and 3 eighths. But now I'm gonna bust through this side um, to expose the storage area and then I can temporarily put the gate on and we have a makeshift dog kennel and then when I get back home I'll clean it up and make it all pretty all right so I was trying to cut this with the Dremel and I couldn't get the angle right because of the post um, then what I realized is this board has a slight bend to it which is a little bit of annoying but not the end of the freaking world um, so since I couldn't get a good cut with the Dremel uh, from this side, what I did is I drilled holes uh, this corner all the way down, all the way across the top, and I'm actually going to have to go crawl into the freaking storage and cut it from that side. So uh, that's what I'm doing. All right, so this is inside the storage. Uh, thank goodness there is a light in here. It is a pretty good size if you can see. Uh, the best part is I'm going to have to climb up in there um, and I can't uh, completely hook this latch to the magnet because I have a GMC and they have their own stupid proprietary camera so my camera's right there so I'm kind of screwed that's a whole another video a whole another time so I am going to crawl in here close the latch and get after it. We got the hole in, um, at least you know, good weight capacity in here, but because I can't have this latch open, I probably breathe in so much sawdust, it's not even funny. Uh, the things we do for our doggies, but looks good. Like I said, this board is a little bit curved. I went ahead and cut this all the way down so this board is exposed. Um, I might actually even trim this just to make it consistent because there's a little bit of a lip right here. Um, other than that, I'm happy so far how everything's going. So let's get the gate put in. I wanna get the hell out of here and I'll see you on the other side. <coughs> All right, so this is what it looks like. Uh, like I said, there is a little bit of a lip. I was deciding if I was gonna trim this down to make it flush with a piece of wood. Um, but the way that this thing sits, like I said, I did curve it. Um, I might just leave it to be honest. Um, obviously I will do the trim and uh, church it up, make it up a little bit prettier. But now you're probably wondering how I'm gonna attach these. And so with my last uh, video that I did on my last dog door, um, I had clamps similar to this. Um, I like this one, it's, it's considered a coaxial clamp. But you can see how I can put um, this inside there and screw it down. And it was a Phillips head screw. The other ones had nails. Um, I'm gonna put the screws into obviously the studs to secure it. Um, but let's go ahead and uh, see how this works out.
All right, so I got this put on. Um, I used those coaxial bolts straight into the studs, which also made this kind of keep its shape with the curve. As you see, opens, closes. Obviously, I'm going to uh, clean this up when I get back home, but for today, that's pretty freaking awesome. Um, I'll also go around to the back so you can see what that looks like too. All right, this is what it looks like uh, from the actual storage area. There's a ton of space. If I was to guess, I'm saying that's probably, you know, four foot by four foot, and then you got the curve. Um, I think this is gonna be great. Um, I am a little bit worried about temperature, but you know, there is a vent in the kid's bedroom, um, and then there'll be some airflow uh, from the doggy door. A little bit windy out here. All right, guys, we did get the doggy door in. Uh, I am pleased with it. I think it looks good. Once I clean up the trim, I think it's gonna be fantastic. Uh, now I get to clean up my mess. I got crap everywhere. Got sawdust everywhere. Uh, but very, very happy uh, with how this turned out. It actually turned out better than what I thought it was gonna turn out.